Okay, so we're doing areas between curves again, and they give us two curves here. The first one is a good old parabola. Comes down, eh, sorry. Bear with me a moment while I obsess over the shape of the parabola just a bit. That's a little better. Okay, so there's x squared, and our other function is just a flat line at 1. So, da, 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 da. good. Okay, so there's our two curves, and they want the area that's between these curves and that's only in quadrant 1. So if they just said between these two curves, I would be taking all this area between the red and the blue, but they only want the quadrant 1 section, which means we are only doing this. So, how do we set up an integral that'll make that happen? It's an integral from, well, it starts at zero. That's the left edge of quadrant one. And it'll end over here at, where's that point of intersection? That would be where x squared equals one. That's where these two curves are crossing. And that would mean x is either positive or negative one. Positive 1 is on this side. That's going to be our upper bound. Negative 1 is irrelevant here because it isn't in quadrant 1. They've told us to ignore it. So, integral from 0 to 1 of the top of our rectangles is actually 1, the g of x, and the bottom of our rectangles is the x squared section. If you get that backwards, you'll have a, neg a negative sign on your answer, and that might give you a bit of a scare until you realize where it came from. So, if we antiderivative this, the antiderivative of 1 is x, the antiderivative of minus x squared is minus 1 third x cubed, and we're doing that from 0 to 1. So, if you plug 1 into it, you get 1 minus 1 third. If you plug 0 into these, they both vanish and we just get 0. 1 minus 1 third is 2 thirds. That would be the area between those two curves.